Dreamcast BIOS dumping. Okie dokie, today we have the uh, Dreamcast and we are loading, or well, going to steal the BIOS from this particular Dreamcast. Uh, so let's get it underway. You'll need a couple of things for this, obviously a Dreamcast controller, power cable, AV cable, network cable to connect to your router, and a broadband adapter. Um, so you'll have to remove the modem, or in my case it was a blank piece, um, and pop in one of these, or similar. Uh, so what we're going to do is, we're going to firstly boot up to this web browser here, XDP. And from there we're going to set a static IP address. Uh, because that's what the guides on the internet told me to do. I suppose every time the Dreamcast restarts it might get a different IP address so you'll have difficulty tracking down where it is exactly. Or it might be something to do with this DC boot disk. Don't really know the details. Anyway, boot up to your XDP web browser. That's the first step. Excalibur presents XDP Limited Edition Harsh Start Now when I, I've done this once before um, the most difficult part is setting the static IP address Once you've done that everything is so easy it's quite good and as you'll probably hear I'm pretty much over my cold so you can expect some more videos very soon so you want to go to options elevator music sweet go down to network info zoom in a bit A button does everything on this Information set up, we want BBA down the end there. IP address, manual. Then you just need to go through and set your IP addresses. It'll take a while because unless you have a keyboard hooked up, it's slow. I've set uh, my IP address as 192.168.0.69. My subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and my gateway is my router address. Once you've done the old oh god done that, just go down to OK. Computer name, feel free to give it a name. I called it DC, uh, short for Dreamcast. DNS settings are next. We don't need to worry about any of that, so forward. Mail account, same thing applies. Mail server, same thing again. Oh, no one cares. Store password. That's fine. And then once that's all done, head down to the OK button. OK, and finally, save. Now you have to go through the whole thing. If you exit out early through that little assistant, it will not remember your settings. I found that out the hard way. It was a bit annoying. But all is well. So now you've set your IP address as static. You can test it by punching in just making sure you can get an internet connection through URL, but I'm not going to do that because that's going to take far too long. Though there are bookmarks, so I'll try accessing a bookmark. Oof, that should be good. Googler. Let's do that. Search for egg man. I hear he's got the master plan. And that's what he am. <laughs> Log on failure. Excellent. That said, it could be something wrong with that website. That bookmark. So, we'll just try punching in an address. That's probably the, uh... Would have been a much quicker way to begin with. Uh, let's Google. 
Oh no! How do I? There we go. This is really hard using a controller with one hand. We're gonna get there. Where's Dot? No, 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 no. Oh no, why'd I put two dots there? There we go. No, oh, did I choose no last time? Well, I guess I'll find out when I review this video just before uploading it. Come on. What's it doing? Odom lights are blinking. All right, so it's pretty much frozen. Anyway, just do what you can to, you know, let's just ignore this bit and uh, just go on to, uh, yeah. Putting in your DC boot disc. <laughs> so what this disc does from what I can just have a guess at, is that it sets up a web server. And because you now know your IP address, which I hope you've noted down, I've noted mine down, it's pretty easy to remember, you can then access it through any web browser, which is pretty damn fantastic. So, as you can see there, almost, once that, there we go. Oh, it's got the build date there. And now we just need to connect to it and download files. So we'll be right back after a short word from our sponsors. Ah, whoops. All right, I don't have any sponsors, but if you want to sponsor me, feel free to. So now we just need to punch in the address that's blinking on the screen. I'm using Chrome as the browser of choice here. And uh, you'll then get a list of things. This is what it's reading off the Dreamcast. If you have a look at your uh, screen as well, you'll also note that it's updated. It's added a whole bunch of stuff. So if we head over here, the ones that we're interested in to get the BIOS are surprisingly DC BIOS and you can get DC flash as well which uh, you just click them and they just download then you'll have them so in that way you've ripped your own BIOS from your own Dreamcast so you can use it in emulators and uh, as for games well I'll show you how simple it is just go and uh, track down a copy of something. It's a good Dreamcast game. Jet Set Radio. Sounds pretty good. Ding. Ding dang. 
So simply swap over the disc. And I can't remember if this updates, but let's have a look. Is it gonna mention anything? No. Didn't think so. So now I've got another disc in. Head back to the web browser and you'll just want to simply do a nice easy refresh. And there you have it. It reads some information off the disc, identifying it as Jet Set Radio, GD ROM, Region Europe, and a whole bunch of other details. And then, well, I'm, I haven't actually looked into ripping my own games, but it's going to be pretty much just as simple as clicking things. So this is the biggest track. And I uh, don't know if you can see it down there, but it takes about 20 minutes to download just over a gig of data over the network. And I'm on wireless, so that's it's not too shabby. Oh wow, look at that, maybe I don't need that file, oh, whoops, let's stop that download, disk.gdi, ah, just gives me information. Well, anyway, that's how you get the uh, the games downloaded and the BIOS downloaded. You can't do more than one from the disk at once. Uh, doesn't like that. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, RetroJunkie.net for more. I'm always updating that website. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, your subscription means a lot to me. It really does. Thanks for watching. RetroJunkie.net